Opening Prayers, Prayer 1 Thanksgiving Blessing, O Lord. We thank you for this earth, our home, for the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the ocean and streams, for the towering hill and the whispering wind, for the trees and green grass. We thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of birds and see the splendor of fields of golden wheat and taste autumn's fruit, rejoice in the feel of snow and smell the breath of spring flowers. Grant us a heart opened wide to all this beauty and save us from being so blind that we pass unseen when even the common thorn bush is aflame with your glory. For each new dawn is filled with infinite possibilities for new beginnings and new discoveries. Life is constantly changing and renewing itself. In this new day of new beginnings with God, all things are possible. We are restored and renewed in a joyous awakening to the wonder that our lives are and yet can be. Amen. Prayer 2 Prayer of Gratitude Thank you, Lord, for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family and friends who bless me every day with kind words and actions. They lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me from those things that seem to haunt others. You help me make better choices and provide me with advices to help me with life's difficult decisions. You speak to me in so many ways so that I always know you are here. And Lord, I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give to them the same kindness they have provided to me. I am extremely grateful for all of your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of just how blessed I am and that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and return acts of kindness. Lord's Prayer Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Day 8 Day 8 Scriptures for Meditation Luke chapter 14 verse 28 for which one of you, when he wants to build a tower, does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if he has enough to complete it? Scripture reference 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8. Who will also confirm you to the end, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ? For the gift of our religious leaders, a prayer for priests. Lord Jesus, you have chosen your priests from among us and sent them out to proclaim your word and to act in your name. For so great a gift to your church, we give you praise and thanksgiving. We ask you to fill them with the fire of your love, that their ministry may reveal your presence in the church. Since they are earthen vessels, we pray that your power shine out through their weakness. In their afflictions, let them never be crushed. In their doubts, never despair. In their temptation, never be destroyed. In persecution, never abandoned. Inspire them through prayer to live each day the ministry of your dying and rising. In times of weakness, send them your spirit and help them to praise your heavenly Father and pray for poor sinners. By the same Holy Spirit, put your words on their lips and your love in their hearts to bring good news to the poor and healing to the brokenhearted. And may the gift of Mary, your mother, to the disciple whom you loved, be your gift to every priest. Grant that she who formed you in her human image may form them in your divine image by the power of your spirit to the glory of God the Father. Amen. A prayer of thanksgiving for our pastors and their families. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the men and women you have appointed as our pastors. Thank you for blessing our church family with their leadership and wisdom. Thank you for leading, directing, and protecting their families. Lord, you are our good shepherd, our high priest. You are a great God and a great king above all gods. You hold in your hands the depth of the earth and the mightiest mountains. The sea belongs to you, for you made it. Your hands form the dry land too. Today, we bow down and worship you. 
We kneel before you and acknowledge you as our maker. You are our God and we are the people that you watch over and have taken under your care. Almighty Father, your word says that those who fear you and delight in obeying your commands will be joyful. You promised that their children will be successful everywhere. We declare that the descendants of our pastors are mighty on earth and blessed because they are the generation of godly people. We confess that our pastors will be wealthy and their good deeds will last forever. We decree that their peace is great and their composure is undisturbed. We declare that our pastors' families will experience the kingdom of God here on earth. People will see their good works and glorify you, our Father in heaven. Our pastors obey your commands. Therefore, their families will be blessed in the city and in the fields. They will be blessed when they come in and when they go out. Lord, we expect that you will cause their enemies who rise against them one way to be defeated and flee seven ways. Lord, it is our expectation that you will command your blessing upon their storehouses and in all that they set their hands to do, and you will bless them in the land. Holy Spirit, show me how to pray, specifically for our pastors and their families. Faithful Father, we joyfully lift up the families of our pastors. Holy Spirit, we ask you to fill their homes with your gentleness, peace, joy, and godly order. We lift up their marriages and we ask you to bless them psychologically, emotionally, and sexually. Bless their children to mature academically, socially, emotionally, and spiritually. Lord, strengthen and encourage those families who feel overwhelmed by the ministry. Lord, we ask that you protect our pastors and their families from the onslaughts of the devil and the disrespect of people. Please help them to maintain balance in their public and private lives. Merciful Father, forgive us for not being steadfast in praying for our pastors and their families. Forgive those in our church family for speaking ill against our pastors and rebelling against their teachings. Forgive those who gossip, mama, complain, and whine. Please forgive our pastors and their families for any acts of sinfulness, including anger, wrath, envy, jealousy, or dissension. Lord, forgive me for least any sins that you have committed. Holy Spirit, remind our pastors and their families to forgive each other and other people, and please help them to forgive. As for me, Holy Spirit, bring to my remembrance those I need to forgive. Take a moment and ask the Holy Spirit to show you names or faces of people that you may need to forgive. As he shows you, say aloud, I forgive, name of person. Now, trust the Lord to heal any wounds in your soul caused by unforgiveness. Holy Spirit, help our pastors and their families to not yield to temptation, but deliver them from the evil one. O oh Lord, the God of our ancestral Israel, may you be praised forever and ever. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. Everything in the heavens and on earth is yours. This is your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Who are brothers and sisters, monks and nuns? Here it is possible to make only a few general statements about the differing categories of both women and men religious. Religious takes vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience and live a life in common. Their communities must have been established with the approval of either the diocesan bishop or of the pope himself. Members of different religious institutes engage in a wide variety of ministries. Many brothers and sisters are teachers or are engaged in some other form of active ministry. Brothers and sisters live a communal life in a convent or religious house, but they may and must leave it regularly in order to perform their ordinary daily duties. Some women and men religious embrace the contemplative life, which is very different. They belong to certain religious institutes founded so that their members might spend their entire lives engaged in prayer. The men and women who take permanent vows in such institutes are responding to the call to spend their lives in a cloister away from the outside world. As a general rule, they spend all of their life within the confines of the monastery or abbey. Church law makes distinctions between these two basic categories of men and women religious, active and contemplative. Women and men religious who are actively engaged in some kind of ministry are referred to as sisters and brothers. Women and men who leave the world 
and willingly embrace the monastic life are nuns and monks. While we have explored some distinctions of terminology, we must not forget that the men and women who have totally dedicated their lives to God in taking vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience serve the church in a special way. They work for the salvation of the world and strive for perfect love in their own lives. Brothers, sisters, monks, and nuns are outstanding witnesses to Jesus Christ in the church. Prayer for Sisters and Nuns O oh Jesus, our beloved Lord and Savior, hear our humble prayers on behalf of your sisters and nuns. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which will constantly increase throughout the course of their holy life. In their loneliness, comfort them. In their sorrows, strengthen them. In their frustrations, point out to them that it is through suffering that the soul is purified and show them that they are needed by the church, that they are needed by souls, that they are needed for the work of redemption. Amen. Prayer for Religious Brothers O Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hear the prayers we offer for our religious brothers. Let them know clearly the work that you are calling them to do. Grant them every grace to answer your call with courage, love, and a lasting dedication to your will. We ask Mary's intercession as their loving mother. Amen.